the subject we're about to talk about touches kind of like every creator on this platform. And you would be like, but it's Skibidi Toilet. It's some fucking weird face coming out of the toilet. That's very attractive, though. Um, and they're fighting, like, robots and stuff, so... That's... There's no plot behind it, right? Like, you can't see anything. Well, I'm the master of... Something called interpretation, my friends. Yeah. I can see more to the story. If the story is going viral, I can use it. I can apply it as a puzzle piece. And it so happened that we live in a world of, like, narcissism. And the platform has shifted to narcissism of, like, oh, look at my face, guys. I am Mr. Beast. That's what you see here, my friends. And that's a, just the start. The tip of the iceberg, my friends. Because on the other side, there is another Hi, It's Me, Jack's films, you know. The thing that people don't even see, don't recognize, don't even support, but they just go to war with the toilets, usually. Except Sniper Wolf was not a toilet, you know, just an oopsie. So, with that introduction, we're gonna get to that position in the story where you're gonna make the same conclusion as I do. But first, Let's fucking watch these guys. Film theory, bro? What MatPad is doing here? You better not turn into one of those. Because you're golden and stuff. What suck balls. Touching this subject because it actually means so much. Because it explains narcissism and how it works. And even there's some gaps that I want to fill in by using this video. Because the drama that I've been covering of Mr. Beast and Jack's films side by side is a long-lasting series, my friends. With Jack's films, things escalated exponentially, bro. Exponentially, things have escalated. But Jack's films hit a brick wall. Just like, you know, one of those people called Andrew Tate. You know, he just kind of posted a Tweety tweet and just hit a brick wall of like, oh, uh, there's, there's a lot of people who are offended by my tweets and they're trying to get me. Oh, uh, even though I'm in Romania, people are that upset. Mm, yeah, 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 yeah. They are, Andrew Tates. And you, you have enjoyed the jail this year, haven't you? Oh my God. So cute. I wish I had something to say to Mr. Beast. Besides, you know, that PewDiePie doesn't want to upload YouTube videos anymore, so that's cool. I have a child now. I have reasons. Am I right? I have reasons to be bad or good. And so on. I have reasons to offer you uh, a VPN and all that stuff. Please, guys, give me more money. Popularity doesn't equal credibility. You gotta be careful with these guys. But uh, let's dissect, let's dive in, because, you know, attacking Mr. Beast and PewDiePie at the same time, that would be fucking weird, right? Unless men would be toxic too. There's a lot of claims to go through. Let's jump in. Not, not into that. Don't flush, because you might jump in, in into a wrong place. Don't flush just yet. we got to break it down. So let's start with this thing, because it looks harmless, but it has the same amount of subscribers. So there's an equal amount of chance that you actually subscribe to this and not this. I'm, I'm the film theory dude, okay? I trust MatPat to, you know, pull out science and put it in his, in his mouth and choke on it. You know, I trust him to do that, not to, like, win the conversation or, or anything, but, uh... <coughs> I love science. 
lot to do with the it. toilet so popular what's its secret there must be a reason for that other than people just like we have the best definitions on the screen the easiest access the most convenient the easiest to understand there's no like narration needed to explain what's going on it's just war of like two things fighting each other and you have to figure out what those things are and why they evolve so much and uh, can have so many forms and keep on fighting and it's like entertaining and stuff because there's something you know to relate to you know there's a toxic creature and a creature without a soul you, that's a good place to start and all of a sudden what we can make a lot of personalities out of that it should be pretty weird right and it is the you know formula to success if you can just keep pumping content and it just like works their heads saying the only place skibbity toilet deserves is to be down the toilet with well that's the fun part you cannot defeat something that you have to replace is the same thing with sniper wolf drama what are you gonna replace sniper wolf with if you kick her out of the platform you gotta you know do the indiana jones thing to replace the statue with something of equal weight it doesn't have to be equal value but at least bro replace it with equal weight you know so we can just you know be angry as like villages of like why you stole our golden statue you know or, or it, it will take a little bit of time for us to figure out and all that stuff you know you you don't know anymore of what it take uh, what it takes to kick someone out of the platform and what the consequences actually are of who's gonna be mad about it you know you you can rile people up you can kick someone out but you don't know if like youtube ceo is gonna come down on you and just kick you out as a consequence if you're gonna start a fucking war between people you don't know what the consequences actually are unless you argue properly at least you put down things of value up front and you know trade with people and understand uh what their experience it is with sniper wolf not your unique experience you can vomit your bullshit as much as you want but you have to actually care about other people's unique experience about someone you gotta care a little bit you know you gotta un unclog your ears if you want war the first thing youtuber has to do is listen <laughs> otherwise you lose you you lose bro so yeah they will lose all of them will lose because they're starting a war that just breeds vi instant violence there's nothing else there's nothing mature about it right and it makes sense to want it to be destroyed somehow like to eliminate this ability to s just straight up start a war straight up be like toxic on the platform whenever you feel like it you know and send your army of like little little children to like attack your most disliked youtuber it's like i mean i'm sorry bro this doesn't look good and i have to like step in and be like well it's time to educate you guys because you don't want bad things to happen to you right because you know you you can choose between doxing getting doxed or get yourself deleted from the internet there's nothing there's stuff in between, of course, but when you get out of control, there's two extreme solutions. And Sniper Wolf took one of them. You know, making Jack's films consider the other one instead. You already got the solution. You got doxxed, my friends. You got the solution. <laughs> Obviously, again, I'm digging too deep, and most people can't keep up with what I'm putting down. But I'm like swimming through matrices of information. I'm tripping balls right now. All right. Because of this. Because there's a simplified story. And most importantly, even if the story doesn't have merit and actually doesn't present uh, exactly how we want things to be presented. Because of course, this could 
be any kind of toxic person, but it's like a toilet toxic level. You know, it's literally shit coming out of the toilet, but it has a face. You know, you can't make this up. This is like maximum level toxic creature. By the way, if you want to continue watching my video, maybe consider watching goddamn YouTube Rewind first. Because, look, it's, it has 300 sliders, bro. You gotta understand. I put work into it. And uh, I need to promote it. I need people to, you know, focus on this first. All right? You can, you can like, type in your nasty comment and turn yourself into an NPC or Skibbity Toilet, whichever one you prefer. All right? But uh, you're not going to amuse me. Nothing's going to happen, you know. And I review comments because I don't have many subscribers. So I want to make sure that the comments have a reply. Yeah, I, I'm not going to delete comments. I'll give a reply. I have to make sure, my friend, I see it first with a smile on my face. Yeah, anything that gets me excited, it's like, wow, this is pretty special, you know. So uh, let's let's continue. But yeah, if you want to actually start a war, first thing I would say, like, you have to switch gears. And instead of, like, releasing every single comment under your video and letting people, like, rile up and create armies and send themselves to attack someone. Before you do that, consider switching gears and controlling your audience a little bit by giving them feedback of how you feel about things. Because Jack Stones is, like, very happy to be silent up there, you know, uh, supported by everyone because they subscribed. So you consented, right? Like, you consented to... Do whatever the fuck you want to whoever I dislike. It's it's a strategy that doesn't work. You have to switch gears to keep your reputation, unfortunately. And this is why a lot of downfalls are happening right now. Because people think they can be famous and disrespectful at the same time. This doesn't, uh, you know, cut it, so to speak. And I'm, I'm getting more and more happy because I know what I'm doing. I'm one step ahead of all of them. But with the caveat that my body sucks, bro. You don't want to see my face. You don't want to see that I'm like, you know, hunched back into my computer. And I'm struggling to like live my life properly. Because I'm too excited about this. I know it's going to give me success. But it takes a huge sacrifice. It takes a huge toll on everything and everyone around me and all that shit because i'm not a happy person it's very difficult to be friends with me in a way but i i see the toxicity too and i can't just be blinded by it so uh let's keep digging 37 seconds completed another big question mark do we do Skibidi at some point. Is that a concept? You know, can I have a button called Skibidi and it's like it's gonna make sense? Because it has to like serve a purpose. Drama exists right now. Drama is technically that. You know, the Skibidi toilet is just a 50% concept. Drama just sounds. Like something everyone understands. So, uh, I don't think I need a skibbity button, to be honest. Even if I flush someone, I mean, uh, they're losers. Uh, they, they're, in fact, losers. And if I, you know, hate someone, it's gonna go to hatred. And I tend to hate people instead of call them losers. Alright? It's just my personal preference. To attack NPCs more than skibbity toilets. But, you know, as faith would have it, I found balance in my heart. And now I attack everyone. No, no remorse for nobody. 
yeah, I do not trust anyone on this platform because they haven't learned the lesson yet. That's how you know. If they haven't learned the mysterious skibbity lesson, then uh, you don't know how to interact on this platform. You don't know how to make relationships that don't just turn into uh, attention-seeking nonsense, right? And if eventually it can turn into drama. And if the drama is real, like actually real, now you're in trouble because you can't settle things down always with the camera in someone's face. It's not always the best choice. It's something they have to consent to now because now there's drama. Uh, you can't just assume that someone consented because they're a YouTuber, because they, you know, so much recognizable. You can't just assume that. So there's a lot of problems brewing right now. Uh, one uh, notable thing that happened recently, besides Jack's film's iceberg, is uh, Repsion leaving the platform or announcing himself to leave the platform. Why is this big? This guy doesn't even have a million views. Well, he's my, he's my personal favorite. He tried to kick Onision in the balls and got addicted to it. And he's realizing, I don't have any ideas for my channel and I'm not very happy making YouTube videos. He's realizing that and he's like, I, I guess I will quit and I will sell my channel. Bye, guys. But this is very big because I don't like him. You know, I'm subscribed. I understand. I don't like him, though. Uh, it's, it's a relationship. I'm okay with the, having a, a relationship where I don't like someone and I still check up on them a lot. How they're doing? You know, are they doing better and I'm the one that's wrong? Or are they doing worse? And they are wrong, you know. And apparently, I was right, unfortunately. Bye. You know, see you later. You could sell the channel to me, by the way, just for reputation points. You're going to get some, you know, I don't know, a hundred thousand. A hundred thousand is insane. It would put you in the first position. You're going to be the ultimate fucking top the first first person you know to reach hundred thousand points and uh you know sit there on the top just comfortably and uh i don't reduce points normally unless you you fart in my face then i try to like you know ventilate the farts a little bit and i, I still couldn't do it with the heart stone all right so you're pretty safe so the deal is on. If Repsion is watching this video, I'm gonna give him 100,000 points. I'm already regretting the decision for your channel. I'm not gonna delete your videos. I respect videos and stuff. I respect your existence. And it is technically a trap, you know. I, I can see there's, you know, scheming going on on this thing. Because it's very difficult to, like, tame the audience in the other direction or in a different direction with a different face. It's very difficult to do that. And he knows that shit. There's more to this story than you might think because drama evolves really fast. It's hard to keep up. And every single time a new idea comes up of like, ah, so that's what he's doing, you know? Not only selling the channel, but selling something that's going to be useless to another person entirely. And will create even more drama of like, oh my god, like, where's Repsion? What happened? But he promised. Just watch this video. <laughs> more drama could happen. It's just, he wants to generate it himself for himself. Potentially. I'm not saying nothing. The second thing that happening, which I'm realizing right now is Hightail. So I talked about Mr. Beast and Sniper Wolf, or Jack's films, whichever one you prefer. Next year, we're gonna talk about Hightail and whatever this is. This is not Repsion. This is more, much more than that, is the depths, I guess, of drama. 
But Hightail actually sits in the deepest depths of drama there is. And you would be like, wait, but this is, looks har fucking harmless, guys. It doesn't exist, though. And it doesn't exist for a reason. Hightail doesn't exist for a very good reason. Because it's not meant to exist. It's meant to make you think that it exists. But in actuality, it does not. Because it's very difficult for Hightail to exist. Why? First, yeah, it's hard to make a game. But it's very easy to tease people. And you can get addicted to that. And that's it. That's all it takes. You just get addicted. And now you're just teasing over and over again of like, oh, my game is getting better and better. Oh, I don't even want to release your game. Oh, I'm not going to even sell your game unless you give me a lot of money. And all of a sudden, Hightail becomes very expensive and impossible to get into and very complicated. And it will fail. But developers want it to fail eventually. You know, they just want to tell the story. And, and, well, get the attention. They can just leech with the views. They can find other ways to monetize the nonsense that they're going to be creating. This is just, again, the start of insanity. Just the start. These people are fucking scheming right now. Because they have been for a very long time. So they have to shift gears. But they're not going to shift gears in the way that you think. These guys are NPCs. And this guy is a skibbity toilet. You can see them right now. If you, you don't believe me, guys, you can see it right now. Hmm. A face that popped out of, of a toilet saying that I'm quitting YouTube, allegedly. And seeing who's gonna try and buy my content and stuff. You know. And then there's developers. Game developers acting like NPCs. Oh, I'm a harmless little tree. That's waiting to, you know, get cut into pieces. That's what you're waiting for, bitch. Because I'm game developer too. And I do commentary videos about other people too. I have the skills to understand what's going on on both sides at the same time. Anyways, mm, mm, mm. yeah, hopefully that's the audience right now. Eleven, eleven, bro. Look at that shit. This is scary to me because it's right next to YouTube Rewind and it's just as powerful because people understand this is kind of weird, right? This is aligning itself perfectly. However, people who haven't watched Skibbity Toilet and still want to watch this video, you don't have the context, please. Like, you must understand. Like, you have to watch the warfare to some extent. And then you have to, you know, check out the YouTube channels that I'm spitting out the names of and all that stuff. Check it out. Get the experience. Continue watching the video. My video. All right? You got to be careful. It's... There's a lot of mines in the field. You can step on one mine and, you know, explode in rage. Pretend that whatever I've said makes no sense at a particular point because you don't have enough context. So if you feel rage, it's probably not me. It's just you don't have enough information that I cannot just show on the screen because it's so difficult. NPCs can do a lot of good work where they can put stuff on the screen and skibbity toilets can be convincing, you know, of like, oh, I'm just stuck in a toilet. I'm the victim, you know. They do that. They convince you that they are authorities over something and lure you in to get them more views. But the problem is just get out of the fucking toilet for once. It is apparently normal to be in a toilet to be stuck in a toilet for views and attention it's normal you just have to now craft a much more intricate and much more disgusting story one of the most disgusting stories that you have never heard of 
It's called Fantastic Daily. I want you guys to type in this shit and experience this story. Whoever is telling this story is, is absolutely amazing person because Fantastic Daily story is pretty fucking crazy. Where he's trying to fake reality, fake that there's paranormal paranormal creatures running around. The black-eyed kids of like kids that really want something from you, basically. And uh, probably just want to take your life away. But it's just children. But they're paranormal, so they have crazy abilities. And they're real. And I was almost like convinced of like, shit, now I'm scared for my life. Because it's just like starting to manifest. And that is e even scarier because reality can sometimes affirm itself. Which is crazy, bro. Because I, I felt like it was manifesting. Like, there was someone outside staring at me. And I'm like, for even a second, I'm like, oh my god, bro. There was a, a sleep paralysis moment when I heard a voice. When I was woken up. And then my mind slowly collapsed and went into mental illness later on in the same location. But it was just a fake story, guys. It was harmless, right? Well, it wasn't, right? It was not. And it made people get pissed off. And he got doxxed first. I have covered this doxing first, my friends, on my channel, bro. Of like, what, Jake Paul also be doing doxing against, you know, Post Malone. It's almost like the best form of clicking one button and getting what you want out of it you click one button and someone gets flushed down the toilet now it's questionable who's better post malone or jake paul but you get to decide i say jake paul i don't like post malone i think he's a fucking drug addict weirdo that doesn't do good music to entice me to like him instead i think jake paul is a pretty good meme Pretty good fighter and made me very emotional uh, when combining the two. So you can see how many people are getting involved, getting sucked into this fucking wormhole of fighting different sort of fights that resemble this very easily. We're one minute in, my friends. There will be punts. Let's see how many. The way you understand popularity is to understand that many people resonate with the same message. When you add narration like I do, people will not understand. You have to show things on the screen and like it has to be flashy. It's much better language to speak of. And Mr. Beast knows very well to speak every language all at once is how you become popular. How did Mr. Beast get 200 million subscribers? He just speaks multiple languages, apparently, guys. All right? It's called the visual language. And it's very easy to speak to some extent. And he's trying to maximize that as much as he can. But there's also emotional language on top of that. Of like, is Mr. Beast content emotionally rich? Or is he just vomiting on the screen? So... He's going to be facing T-Series, and I'll make sure that Mr. Beast loses, just like PewDiePie did. I'll make sure of that, my friends, because there's another thing that you can do. It's called Ripple Effect. My video might not get views, might not get even subscribers, might not give me a reputation, but I will make sure that a Ripple Effect happens. That someone watches the video and they act a specific way and then the people around them are suspicious they act a specific way too and it keeps on rippling without people even like being able to control themselves and say a word you know it's possible i'm not saying i can craft something as complicated as this but i can talk about it you know and scare people about it and that's probably good enough because it creates, you know, an understanding of, like, how spirituality works. You can see everything is getting sucked into the black hole. 
Everything can be explained now using this as long as you pay attention. Uh, from the Eastern European country of Georgia hasn't done. Every single country, especially European, matters. And I'll be talking about it later or maybe even making a series of, you know, dissecting every single European country because they're weird in their own different ways, basically. And it's uh, fascinating but scary at the same time because I'm also European and I don't want to wake, you know, the toxicity around me because right now Europe is in danger for next two years. I'm just saying, people started honking around. They are practicing something. They're sending some kind of message to each other of, you know, preparing to be extra disgusting. Just like Russia started the war. Just like China started the pandemic. We Europeans are going to face our own nemesis for the next two years. So, uh, wish me luck, guys. I want to be the uh, the person with most, you know, kicks in the balls to other people, not myself. I don't want to get kicked in the balls. I'm just saying, I don't know what the competition is. I just want to be the best, obviously. For 200 bucks. I have to share this one story about myself, and I'm kind of like living in an idiot sandwich where, like, the bread is rotten, but the insides are pretty good, pretty edible. And it's that's what an idiot sandwich actually is. You know, like, it hurts. I, ha I have no ability to leave where I live because it's just too comfortable and there's nowhere to go besides the fucking shitty place that we sort of own, but it's like it's, it's impossible to live in. So you want me to do that, but why should I do that? Like, I'm very comfortable. It's you the problem. The rotten stuff is the problem, not me. So that's out of the picture. And my friend, you know, suggests this, and uh, he became an asshole instantly by suggesting that. You just have to suggest that, oh, just leave. What the f How do you come to this, you know, suggestion so quickly? Oh, just leave. So oh, you're easy. Oh, boy. Oh, and now I have to convince you otherwise. Ah, thank you. Or maybe we should just leave the friendship behind us. You know, just like leave. You know, you have given me such a good suggestion. I should use it for something, actually. So I'm, I'm smack dad, bro, in, in the middle of middle and middles. I don't know, of ri riddle middles, boys. I'll be playing, you know, the... I'll be playing with something like this. If you haven't seen this game, it's pretty cool. It has like cool puzzles and stuff. You should get an emulator, get this game if possible. Uh, Professor Layton, Psychology of Puzzle Solving? I don't know, bro. But it, it was kind of cool. There's a lot of puzzles to solve, and you have to really think through the puzzles. Like, they're very creative. There's so many of them. It's like, how. How did they collect that many? So uh, it's cool, but um, that's where I live, you know, where everything is a puzzle. And technically, this is happening in Britain. And this is the only way you can survive is like treat everything as a puzzle, everything as a challenge that you can solve without getting yourself involved into, well, problems that hurt you and stuff. So, uh, yeah, it. That is just the challenge alone to get up off your ass and do something. And one of the interesting solutions to the idiot sandwich is to use other people as scapegoats of start drama with someone you care about, your friends. But the actual goal of starting drama is to affect someone you don't like that's next, that's sitting next to the drama and slowly shift your focus onto them. Uh, and if you do it at the right pace, they will get hurt the most because you're just fighting your friend. You know how to make it last and make it entertaining. But when someone else gets involved in your relationship too close, 
they get burned. He's cracked it. We have made it one minute and 30 seconds, guys. Mm -mm -mm. To this toilet humor. Is Skibbity Toilet maybe the modern day Greek epic? Far more intelligent than you give it credit for. As I have no idea what Greek epic means, but you tell me. Because I, I don't care about history that much. But I do like rewinding history. That's cool. I, I think that's it. We can continue watching, please. Where did they come from in their universe? And how's the story going to end? Some of you folks who have... Well, I'm probably the best predictor of everything, but in this particular case, there's nothing to predict. I just have to win. You know, there's an open position for a winner to, you know, replace the most toxic thing, things on the internet right now. To kind of sort of simulate a level up, but not really. You know, that's I'm just a simulation of a more mature person but i have to fix myself while while i'm representing that sort of person so i can get fame and fortune and all that stuff but it's only just to fix myself to show that i'm progressing as a human being because that's what a mature person does they get better at being themselves not necessarily being better at making content or whatever your job is to generate money. You just have to be better at being yourself. So, uh... Oops. ...looking heads that can consume humans before... And here we go. Here, here we started, bro. I don't remember them consuming humans. Or toilets that consumed humans. No, I think they're consented to that. So, uh, I'll, I'll have to give one point to drama instead. But, cool. Now, now we're getting into assumption and very weird territory where they have to actually explain what's going on. They can't just, like, talk about Greek epics and it's like, oh, maybe it's, it's actually very important. Now the entire video is getting in trouble, I would say. Because all, all of a sudden, I don't think the fact was straight. Consume. It seems these toilets spawn with ease. Tiny. I guess I'm wrong, right? Humans got consumed. We don't know. We don't know that. They could just consent to be a toilet. You know, be scared, but when approach of like, oh, maybe it is a good strategy. Maybe it does scare people. Maybe it is more powerful to be a toilet than a human being. I'm just saying, we don't know if this is consumed. Because consume is a strong word, and usually you don't use the strong words unless you want attention, you know. With cameras on. By the way, when you show something as relevant as consume a human being, you gotta show the actual clip, please. Is this is a fact that you're projecting onto people. And I don't like that. You know, I don't like people sneaking in facts when they're supposed to be, you know, credible source of information. So uh, I caught you. What are you going to do about it? Infographics. These are cyborgs. They soon learn that to kill the skibbity toilet, all they have to do is flush them. Soon. Dude. And this is where we're going to end this video because uh, pretty much everything has been said and the lost reputation. Right now the video is intense. I want one hour for this video, so I already wasted too much time on this one thing. But why can you just flush this? Well, the conditions are more complicated than you think. You have to get close to the skibbity toilet. You have to see their face, pretty much. Then you can flush it. You have to see the threat. You have to see the need. You have to be reasonable. It's not just pressing one button. It is scary, my friends. And people do that. What is the equivalent of flushing skibbity toilets? Well, ignorance is... 
If you actively want to ignore someone, you block them and they are removed from your life for the rest of your life. That's it. But the problem is, you never really know who you're flushing down. Or if you're flushing someone down in the first place, if something won't just, like, happen when you press that button. This button is very dangerous, my friends. Alright, the best thing to do is just defend yourself. And uh, if a skibbity toilet comes after you, and he wants to, you know, convince you of his own religion or whatever, well, you have the ability to now defend yourself and apply your religion of pressing buttons. And uh, unfortunately, that probably is very effective against these guys. Because when they get rejected, yeah, they disappear forever. They have nothing else to say. You know, you're... You destroy a normal human being. You block them from Discord or Facebook or whatever. You block that relationship. They will disappear. A normal person. Me, on the other hand, you press the button and you realize, uh-oh, it worked. Someone got flushed. But it wasn't me. It was you. You know... Ah, you pressed your own button by accident. People who press the button, they get flushed. They don't turn into the toilet. I don't need that. You just get flushed down the drain into the depths of oblivion, basically. Because, you know, I gatekeep people like that who just consent to go to hell. Because I'm a moral person and people still press my buttons for some reason. I don't need that, you know, so I flush you down. I make sure you get flushed down slowly and carefully because I put you in my memory and I imagine you getting flushed down. It's a slow process. It doesn't happen like instantly. You press the button and you feel victorious. But the time is ticking and you realize, oh shit, life is very long. And I just rejected someone. And now I'm. Not better off at all. You know, the, the thing that people don't realize, you have more time than you realize on this earth. You just don't know how long you're going to live. You don't know. People can live longer and longer periods of time. You don't know how long you're going to live. So probably it's pretty bad to disrespect someone because you might get bored. But when you get bored, you get depressed, you get anxious, violent, and disgusting. So, don't get bored, guys. I'm just offering solutions and people dislike me. I wonder why. They think they can just solve boredom all by themselves in a much more tactical way. Much better way, much faster. But then they appear in Mr. Beast video and look like idiots crashing into the pool of water in the middle of a fucking, you know, store which has absolutely no interpretation value. It's just the stupidest thing that ever happened on screen very recently, yesterday basically, 10 hours ago. What the fuck was that? You know, oh, I just turn and it's like it turned into the pool, though. Oh, it was an accident, wasn't it? Your brain malfunctioned. Oh, man. But the pool had no reason to exist in the first place. And it's very difficult to remove it anyways. Uh, and then, you know, the, you can see the deterioration of a person in that Mr. Beast video of how slowly boredom can take someone's sanity. Mr. Beast gets sucked into the same thing, but he knows he's going to recover, you know. He has enough, like, support systems, but he's not draining his sanity. He's draining his friend's sanity. And that is also very dangerous, unfortunately, for Mr. Beast. You know, Chris doesn't look very manly anymore, and uh, people around him don't look very nice anymore. 
the, the more Mr. Beast spends time just getting himself bored and getting his, himself in trouble and asking other people to, you know, help him out of his madness. I, I would just say to Mr. Beast one thing. I do not recommend you spend seven more days anywhere anymore. I wouldn't recommend that anymore because now it's actually getting dangerous. You already declared that you're going to be dead for seven days and you're going to be excavated back into, you know, surface. You already declared that by releasing a video. Everyone saw that. If you're going to do something even more extreme, now you will probably get hurt. I'm just saying something can go wrong at some point and things more extreme past that point now they're very likely to hurt you more than you think all right there's a lot of moving parts that sh that mr beast is taking advantage of and one moving part breaks and things start collapsing and crushing your little feet or whatever so mr beast has to understand he can't just one-up himself every single time and not just throw himself into a volcano randomly. You know, but I want to see that video. Where's Mr. Beast inside a volcano? <laughs> I want it, though. You know, you have to feed the audience more and more extreme food. Or just slightly better or slow down. But, oh, but the competition is going to kick my balls. Well, then just... Accept that you have been the best person in the pl on the platform and uh, give the flag to someone else. You know, not difficult at all. But let's see what Mr. Beast does because freedom, baby. You can kill yourself if you want, or you can save the world if you want. I don't know. Freedom can do very weird things. Even I have freedom to say stupid things right now. On this video and i'm scared but let's continue three minutes in and i explained how you defeat skibbity toilet i did not explain how you defeat this you know and no one knows how to defeat that the npc except it's just not that difficult you just have to recognize that it's an npc and it's like well it's, it's Clearly a robot, but it has a human body, and it's like, it makes you like confused of like, mm, but it has a human body, but it it's like, like a camera, so like it's NPC, right? But it has to like have it because for storytelling in real life, you're probably not gonna in encounter NPC. So how do you recognize an NPC? The moment you recognize an NPC, it's game over for them because they cannot lie to you anymore. Everything they do is stupid, you know. That's what's going on. You just have to recognize. You have to identify. You have to pull out your Pokedex and be like, NPC detected, you know. The, you, you get the name of NPC. You call them by name of like, hey, uh, Squirtle, come here, bro. You know, that's how you treat NPCs. You treat them as like Pokemons, as animals, as collectibles. Because they're useless. They're just liars and scripters in a way programmers endlessly you know, trying to convince you that they have made something very precious for humanity by wasting their time and not being social because no one you know tried to talk to me recently so i'm suspecting there's not a lot of social people right now i'm just suspecting something's going on right and technically even in my vicinity, we have like the renovation thing going on where you have to like renew your home. And it's a dangerous subject, so I'll try to fucking speed things up. Well, you know how Brexit happens? 50 50 split, right? But this gonna, this, there was 52% uh, on, on one side. Our renovation was very close, technically, to one vote. Basically, meaning that one vote has decided the whole fucking thing. It felt like 22 people would have voted yes and it would have worked but 21 did so whoops so now but it creates a precedent of like if i consent to something i can drag people into consent as well this is democracy this is how we 
decide things, that's not democracy. That is mob mentality of like 20 people are going to defeat 10 people all the time. The trolley problem of like you always run out, run down one person, even if it's Jesus Christ, you know, it's all who fucking run down that one person. I don't care if it's Jesus Christ. I want to save five criminals that are going to fucking rape and murder me anyways, you know, so it's a little bit more complicated than that, right? You know, uh, technically, when it comes to destiny and the best thing to do and why trolley problem is bullshit, because you just let it happen. You just let it slide. And if it's one of your loved ones on either side, you try to save them. You know, you try to do, you try to love them. You know, you don't ignore that shit. And if something you hate and you want to kill it, well, oh, oops, you know, that's the trolley problem. That's how you solve the trolley problem is you save the loved ones and you, you, do oopsie doopsie on the haters <laughs> and uh, let the destiny do the rest my friends i'm solving everything here guys i'm putting everything down it's the rewind of rewinds my friends Hell. so he starts as a skibbity toilet all right and these guys start as uh, a programmer programming minecraft what the fuck is this shit bro Please, no, man. Come on, you just made it too easy. So we literally have MadPad as Skibbity Toilet somewhere, somehow. MadPad himself might not be, but some of his editors or his uh, style of presentation is a Skibbity Toilet version. And this guy is just like, oh, sitting there programming Minecraft, which we literally just talked about, bro. Hightail, it's Minecraft but never was released it's or will the biggest internet phenomenon since minecraft arguably more popular literally sitting there and it's like oh guys minecraft <laughs> shut the fuck up npc we we figured you out let's see what matpad has to offer because you know matpad has a body of matpad but who's the head of matt wait we're talking about npcs though i'm scared how do skibbity toilets work? Welcome. Welcome. In a video form. You know, because I can detect a programmer. You fucking click, and the first thing that happens is like, Oh, Minecraft is popular. You're an NPC, bro. Okay? Yeah, I, I Minecraft is no longer popular. Shut the fuck. <laughs> you know, you have to find the next drug. To be addicted to and it's probably not gonna look like minecraft it has to be completely something completely fresh and new and different you know like clicking buttons i like that i do it every day button yeah yep. But subscribe button is gonna flush you down the toilet, MadPad. Oh, MadPad, what have you done, MadPad? Hmm, it's just so sad. I have unsubscribed from one out of four of your channels, MadPad. Months later. You know, it would be pretty awkward if out of a skibbity toilet came out of a head of an NPC. And you sort of like like them to some extent and be like wow that's balance right it's, that's weird that's just weird man and it would be also weird if like an npc had a a very very well polished head and it's like wow you have a nice head and like you're attractive and but you still like a robot and stuff and i I don't want to hang out with you, to be honest, because I'm scared. You might be very powerful. You know, like, this could also still be happening. Like, you can level up and you can balance things out in the most rigorous way. And rigorous means you take parts from this thing and you attach it to this and you can turn yourself into monstrosity, which is what skibbity toilets have been doing. They have been sizing themselves up getting bigger somehow I mean, how do they do that what what is that technology well okay maybe they can get bigger without 
extra appendages, but they do get appendages. They get superpowers and stuff. Skibbity I haven't even clicked a Skibbity Toilet video, my friends. We just talked about commentary of the thing. This is crazy, isn't it? I think it's pretty fucking weird. I have only talked about commentary of four minutes of commentary of Skibbity Toilet, bro. So, well, if this video blows up to a thousand views, I have to make a new channel, not for Skibbity Toilet, but for drama in particular. Drama, guys. Drama begins, potentially. So, uh, hit that click, click watch video thing on the next video. So, YouTube algorithm says, oh, wow, this is a dedicated fan now. Uh, he has been turned into a cultist or whatever. And uh, YouTube is going to recommend more videos to more people to create a cult that I will send to a different channel. All right, guys, let's, let's do that. Click, click somewhere else. I just want to finish watching another minute of this video. So, yeah, to say that this thing has taken over YouTube, it'd be a major... Oh, my God, subscribers. Guys, Mr. Beast is blushing. Mm, 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 mm. So many views and subscribers. I have to become a skibbity toilet now. No, no math pads. You, you are a, a skibbity. I literally put you in a toilet, on, on a toilet, on YouTube Rewinds. And I thought like, okay, I haven't predicted anything, guys. I have not done anything in the YouTube Rewind. I didn't say, fucking say anything. And yet... As luck might have it, we have to turn one of these three sliders into a black heart of like, actually, I predicted that. So big style of being a skibbity toilet, my friends. Heart. Somehow, somewhere, this is just one out of many sliders and it turned into reality. Why? Of him sitting on the toilets talking to Anthony. That was the thing. You know, we know that they're sitting on toilets. So, uh, the moment Matpad is isolated is the moment the black heart appears. Whoops, Matpad. Don't disappear, Matpad. Don't be predictable. Mad Pat, don't just make style theory into shit theory all of a sudden because Skibbity Toilet is the style, you know. Don't do that. Don't make it double black hearts. Please. In one of the episodes, one of the titular Skibbity Toilets literally destroys YouTube HQ in a not so subtle metaphor for how this show has broken the website. Yeah, I think it's a little bit crazier than that but at the same time it doesn't have to be youtube hq or like a very prominent place for youtube but hey i guess cool but that's what toxic people do they try to destroy youtube they try to project at least that they're successfully destroying youtube when in reality uh the problem with skibbity toilets is you take damage for your own toxicity you become toxic, but you take damage. I take damage too for being too close to a computer. You know, spending too much time with my computer. So I have to lay down and stretch and all that shit and eat vegetables and stuff. Even if they taste like shit. But, um, you know, to compensate. And I still get eye damage. And eye damage, I can't repair that easily. I have to, like be in nature i have to find friends i have to see the light in the end of the tunnel or i will lose my vision basically by staring at a fucking computer and uh so that's what i'm fighting for the moment i have friends i have to you know squeeze the shit out of them because i need i need that stuff to survive bro to become a normal human being so there's a lot at stake here, as you can tell. A lot in this guy's hands. So uh, 
see you guys next time. Hundred uh, a thousand views, my friends. A new channel. I promise. That's how we do it.